Hello everybody and welcome to exercise one on page 38. In this video, we're going to be just working through part A of this exercise just so you can kind of see what, what it's asking and then I'm going to ask you to work through parts B and C of this exercise. All right, so let's read this together, see what they're asking us here. They'd like us to find the order and the inverse of each of these elements, each of these permutations in S10. Okay, so in part A, notice that we're given this permutation. And the thing that you might notice about it is that it's a product of cycles and those cycles are disjoint. Okay. Is a, now let's say it this way, a product of disjoint cycles. Okay, so that's written in a nice form to use some of the theorems that we have available to us for finding order. Okay, so let's start with the order of alpha. We have a theorem that says that if the permutation is written as a product of disjoint cycles, we can find its order by just taking the least common multiple of the cycle lengths. Okay, so we should get the least common multiple of 2, 2, and 3. Okay, since those are the lengths of the three cycles. And then the question is, what's the least common multiple of those three numbers? You think about it for a minute. Six is it. So the order of that permutation should be six. We would have to compose it with itself that many times, basically, okay, to get back to the identity. All right, what about the inverse? How do we, how do we find the inverse of that? Okay, well... Remember that a permutation is a function, so it's really like ask, it's like asking us to find the inverse of the function that alpha represents. Okay, and there's a nice, simple way of doing that. You can always find the inverse okay, of a permutation by just reversing the order of the um, elements in your cycle. So, for example, we start with a cycle that looks like 5, 3. We're just going to flip that. And then 2, 4, we're going to flip that. Okay, and then 1, 6, 7, we're going to flip that and write 7, 6, 1. Just, just write the elements in the opposite order. By doing that, you are guaranteeing that you're going to get the inverse function. Okay, and that would be an okay answer. I just want to point out again, multiple representations are possible. Okay, so you could write this in different forms. So 3, 5, maybe you prefer to start with the smallest number in your cycle. Okay, 4, 2. So that's equivalent to 2, 4, because after all, that cycle just flips 2 and 4 around. Doesn't matter which of those two numbers we start with. Okay, and if we wanted to, we could write um, 7, 6, 1 starting with 1, since that's the smallest number, and then the order that we would get is 1, 7, 6. Okay, to match the order that we have there. Okay, and I want to emphasize that either of those two answers are possible, are, 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 they're both equivalent, they're both correct. Only thing that's maybe advantageous about this is that we're starting with the smallest number, which is, which is kind of customary when we're doing this. Okay, so you can see what you can do with parts B and C of this problem.